for today's video, I wanted to do a home birth supply haul. I did one with Landon, but this one is a, just a slightly tiny bit different, mostly the same stuff, but there is like a few other things that I have this time because I do have the birth kit with me this time as well. I keep everything in the same spot that way whenever it is time to go into labor everything is like accessible and we know where everything is so hopefully i have everything and i am missing like three things i'll talk about that um but those are going to be delivered like today so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get started just to clarify i am having or i'm planning on having a home water birth and this supply list was provided to me by my midwife and if you are having a home birth definitely make sure that you follow what your midwife suggests for you to get this is what i've gotten and this is what i've used in the past so i'm gonna go ahead and get started so to begin with with this is our actual birth pool we have not taken it out and set it up yet. We do need to take it out because they say to let it kind of air out for 48 hours. And we do want to test it to make sure there's no holes in it or anything. But got the Oasis pool. I'll go ahead and insert a picture for you guys so you can see what it looks like. This is what it looks like in the box. This is a um, protector sheet thing to go underneath the pool. That way it doesn't like ruin your carpet or anything. And then this is the actual pool itself. So that of course is only necessary if you want to have a water berth. To go hand in hand with that, these are the things that you need to actually fill the pool so this is a drinking safe water hose and we did get two of them just in case we need to flush some of the water back you don't want to reuse that same hose um, to like refill it with warmer water or what have you. you usually find them in the RV section at like the hardware store you can get them pretty much anywhere then to take the water out of the pool we are using a drill pump and you just connect it to your drill if you have like a drill and it helps get the water pumping that way it's easier to kind of drain the pool and then this is just a adapter to go from the sink to the hose that way we can put the water straight into the pool so this should hook onto our sink or actually he might have said this is for the shower I think Chris said that he wanted to do um, he wanted to try to do it from the shower so either way this is just like an adapter so that way the faucet can hook onto the hose and hook and go into the pool so then we have a flashlight we did actually order a waterproof flashlight though it's nice to have a waterproof flashlight just in case the midwife needs to go into the pool with it to see what she's doing or anything like that you need two 100 percent cotton baby hats this is to keep the baby's head warm right after it's born they like immediately put a hat on them so i just have two neutral ones this one is just like white with tan polka dots and then this one is white with gray stripes i think i like this one a little bit better so if i have any say in the moment i would probably prefer that one but either one is just fine and then all of this stuff right here my midwife provided for me and it's something that you usually buy and you'd receive in a birth kit but she had extra so she went ahead and just gave these to me at our last appointment so these are just these the under pads that you can sit on so you don't like bleed on anything or if you're worried that your water is going to break and you don't want it to get on something there's multiple uses for that so we have a ton of these about 25 in here and then i have even more also tucked away so then this is just some easy jelly lubricant for lack of a better word this is to help the midwife like check me we have all these gloves for her if she needs to check me or do whatever she needs to do so these are all just like medical latex gloves when doctors and midwives check you and stuff they need a little help getting in there sometimes so that's what that's for and then these are just some alcohol pads and there's multiple use for that and then we have some big gauze sponges as well and we just have a ton of those and again there's multiple uses for these kinds of things she said to get about a dozen 100 percent cotton receiving blankets and i am going to actually throw these in the wash maybe a couple times before i use them because i do want to make sure that they have all like the lint out of them and stuff like that but this is going to be used to dry off the baby right after he or she is born and it just to have handy for whatever you may need them for. I do also have a ton of towels that I ordered off of Amazon and they were supposed to be here yesterday but shipping was delayed until today and I just didn't wanna to wait to make this video. So uh, in addition to this, I also have a ton of cotton washcloths. So that is not pictured in this video but that is something that I am gonna have. Then I we ordered this mattress protector. This is just good to have on there. I think we bought this one because it had really good reviews and we wanna keep it on there long term. We're gonna have this for labor purposes and use it out afterwards as well but it just protects especially since we just got a brand new mattress it just protects your mattress and it's a nice thing to have on hand you don't need to necessarily get like a super fancy one um, but this is just our preference then over here I have a ton of maxi pads I got like the biggest size and then like the second biggest size and then like the third biggest size because 
obviously if you've had a baby before you know that these come in handy you bleed a lot after birth and the more kids you have the more you bleed afterwards at least in my experience so and then this is a hundred percent extra virgin olive oil and this can be used for the baby's skin afterwards you would be surprised how useful olive oil is when it comes to birth and newborn. So I just grabbed a small bottle of extra virgin olive oil to have on hand as well. And then I, this was not on my list, but from experience, I love this stuff. It's nice to have, especially if you tear, which hopefully I don't tear, but I have in the past and this was like my lifesaver. This as well as the tucks. I'll go ahead and pull those over here. These can go in your pads. These are the medicated cooling pads and it has like witch hazel in it and especially if you have like hemorrhoids or any of that kind of stuff, which you know what? Birth is just gross to talk about sometimes and this is the reality, people. This combination of medication for pain relief after you have a baby is definitely something I recommend. So those are two things that I personally like to have available. Then you have a brand new thermometer. My midwife recommends that it is brand new because God forbid you have a thermometer and it's been, you've used it and there's nothing wrong with it and then it stops working when you need it to. So we went ahead and just bought a brand new thermometer to have like for the baby to check the water, all that kind of stuff. And then we just have this box of Kleenex for whatever you may need to use it for, whether it's like crying or <laughs> blowing your nose or whatever. It's just nice to have on hand as well. And then this again was just something from my experience. This is a belly wrap that I'm going to wear immediately after giving birth because my muscles are so extremely separated. This is a must for me. My guts literally feel like they're pouring out, especially right after birth. So this is something that I ordered and I'm going to start wearing pretty much immediately after birth. Moving to over here, we just have some extra cheap fitted sheets for the bed because like I said sometimes your bed gets ruined sometimes you bleed on it or whatever and so it's just nice to have some extras that you don't mind getting dirty if you have old sheets that's definitely the best thing to use but we just went and got a couple of these sheets that were on sale that we could find and then I have some more gauze pads I have a ton of gauze pads this just goes hand in hand with the other stuff and then we have a bunch of large trash bags for throwing like towels into if you want to throw dirty towels in there afterwards that you want to wash or if you want to throw them away or whatever you want to do with them just having a bunch of trash bags on hand is a good idea and then of course we have some betadine this just kills germs this is just nice to have around the house anyway but it's definitely something that you want to have or birth as well i got a couple things of hydrogen peroxide and a thing of alcohol as well most people have these around the house i know i did but i went ahead and bought some extras just in case because you never know what you can need them for i have those and then this might be confusing for some people but a lot of people especially if you haven't had a baby before even if you've had a baby and you had a hospital birth you sometimes you don't even realize that like after you deliver a baby you have to deliver the placenta as well and the hospital will pretty much just like dispose of it when you're at home you have to have somewhere to put it so what I decided to do this time was to just get these like aluminum disposable pans I guess to put the placenta in afterwards and then some people encapsulate it I have in the past I have not yet decided if I'm going to this time but whether you want to encapsulate it or you want to throw it away I decided to get like these disposable pans this time so the only other things that are not pictured here here that you will need is a peri bottle and my midwife is providing that and she's bringing it to our next appointment so I do not have that one on hand she said it's not even worth buying she has so many of them so she's going to bring me a peri bottle and that is just for like cleaning yourself off after birth because you cannot wipe and then also the towels like I said and then an electrolyte beverage with some straws so we have straws in our kitchen I didn't really feel the need to pull them and keep them in here but we do have like flexible straws that it just makes it easier to like drink some water and stuff like that some people will get nauseous in labor and an electrolyte beverage I'm just gonna get some like Gatorade or something like that I'm trying to think sometimes I'll put something somewhere and I'll forget about it but I tried to like look over my list real quick and make sure that I got everything so if anybody has had a home birth before and you think that I'm missing something that I definitely need to use definitely point it out to me because this is like my pile of stuff right now and I'm sure there's something like tucked away somewhere that I'm just forgetting about but this is the majority of stuff that you need for a home birth a home water birth specifically if, if you're interested in having one of those or if this stuff just kind of interests you in general this is what you need to have or what you should have on hand um, in order to have a home birth so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll definitely answer them in the comments below or I'll answer them in another video and other than that I will talk to you guys for our next video bye guys totally TMI uh, at least my body is getting ready for breastfeeding this baby is just sitting so low I feel like every single day it gets lower and lower and lower and lower and like yesterday I literally felt like it was going to crawl out of me